hey 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 and welcome to brooklyn's barbie bay and we are back and guess what we have today you guys fashion packs yes i went on to amazon and purchased this deluxe ele doll one word ellie doll fashion pack now i've um, opened a couple of their fashion packs because they come with an array of outfits an array of um, doll um, accessories inside the pack so they are a little bit pricey so this one was $42 if you go on to Amazon and you want to search some of their other um, fashion packs because they come in an array of colors and an array of um, different type of ideas in them and they're not all as pricey I've never seen something like less than 25 so but I also am looking at the fact that okay the quality of the clothes are really good and we're gonna check that out today as well as um, a lot of stuff being given to you that you probably would end up paying probably more if you were doing outfit by outfit. So think about it like this, guys. As we're reviewing today, remember Barbie charges about what seven to eight to nine dollars for one outfit. Um, sometimes if, if it's two, it's a little bit more. So if you were to calculate everything that we're going to look at today, you're probably going to be paying much more if we were shopping Barbie or shopping another accessory doll set. Most accessory doll sets can range from $6 to $12, depending upon who's or what. I mean, think about it. We just got finished paying $9 a piece for Rainbow High shoes and just shoes or just a purse. Okay, now I'm going to move on from there. We're in our Barbie closet. We've got some different dolls. We're going to try these outfits on. So let's go ahead and get started so I can show you what came in this set. Okay, first of all, as I'm pulling out the assess the set, it comes with a bag of accessories, but I need y'all to see what's in the bag. Money. Is that a block of money? We've got some shoes in here, as you can see, in this doll set. Um, and I don't remember any dolls that I've ever got coming with a bag of money. Let me, I gotta open this with you all so we can see. Oh, okay, so you've got, oh, it comes with a separate bag with a purse with the silver oh it's heavy too you guys with a chain purse i cannot wait for us to see that we also have baby wait a minute y'all it's not just a block of money i need you to know that look at this let me get in closer here do you all see that the money is pieces of it's individual money no and i mean individual money meaning that each piece is a is a it, you guys the dolls got money. <laughs> that is too cute. Um, also, we have shoes. So let me go through and show you. We have a pair of black boots that come in this set. Okay. We have, let me just pour these out of my hand so I can go through and show them to you. If this comes with a pair of silver high heels that come in this set okay we have put those up there we have another pair of those same heels except they are black can you see those black high heel shoes same as the silver ones and then we have a pair of um, black sneakers and these sneakers do not come you know just just a pair of black sneakers okay so that's what you have and then you have your chain purse in a separate bag and we have our money oh, I can't wait to get into this set let's me show you the first outfit that we're going to start with today okay so I was trying to think how to show you guys this but I'm going to show you what's packaged and what's in um, the whole entire haul then i'll show you it on the dolls okay so first thing that comes packaged i believe this is a black dress i'm not going to be sure until i take it out and show it to you you have a silver um one sleeve dress very sparkly you have an overcoat that is um that houndstooth black and white overcoat and coat in a set this is the only dress that came unpackaged and it is a um one side black and white dress we have another dress that looks like with a fur boa in it that we're gonna see what this is. I have, it looks like, um, I wanna say this is a panties, I can see panties in here, but panties maybe in a tank top, like loungewear, not too sure. 
I have another shirt, a white shirt with a black ruffled skirt. Can't wait to get that out. And then I have a pair of silver pants. Okay, let's get to it. I'm ready to go. Let's start with that first doll. Okay, here we are in the first dress and we have, this is, I thought this was a one-sided, but it's not. It's just a really cute um, dress that has elastic in the waist, um, has, it kind of folds over at the top and it is a, um, has a little back showing as well. I put it on her with the black heels that this doll came with, I mean with this, with the set came with. And I think it's really cute. I wish it would have had something like a little belt or something that we could have used with this to kind of, you know, bring it in maybe a pop of color. So if you wanted to do something like that with this doll, you could. You could also change the shoe color um, to see how this would look um, on your doll. But so this is my um, articulated plus um, curvy doll. Okay, so this is how this outfit looks on our curvy doll. Let's go to our next doll. Okay, here we have it on our Integrity doll. And as you can see, the fit does fit. It's a little, you know, it's, it's very blousey and big. And I definitely will try to find a really cute belt um, to go with this. Um, I just, you know, this is an Integrity doll that can fit the Rainbow High shoes. So I was able to show you guys just a pair of black and white rainbow boots that she put on with these. Just give you a close up. Um, but so this is how this fit would absolutely look on an integrity doll that I have here. So it does look good. It's not very flattering. I mean, the dress isn't as flattering. And I think that's because if we had something around the waist, which I'm trying to look for as I'm doing this video, um, would really look good. So this is how it looks on our integrity doll. Okay. So here we have it on our fresh doll and I was able to pull out my bag of belts guys and, um, or my box of belts. And I found this, um, and I picked the pink because in her facial sculpt, as you can see, she, her, her lips are pink. So I like it better with the belt. Um, I like it better with the color shoes. I picked a pair of pink heels to go with that. Let me know your thoughts if you like it with the belt or without the belt. And just threw her on like a little small clutch purse for her to have. Um, so I think that when you add a pop of color to this, and you add um, a belt to this dress, it absolutely gives you a whole different look. So that we saw it without the look and now here it is with the look. And this is on our fresh doll and she is one of our curvier dolls. Okay, let's look at another doll. Okay, and this is our made to move body. And as you can see, I have switched up the color, color and gave her a belt that had like a little cute fanny pack on it, which I think is absolutely gorgeous. It matches her skin tone beautifully matches her lip and her makeup. I always like to show you guys all of it. Okay, these are just a pair of red heels I threw on with this. And as you can see, when you add some accessories to this um, outfit, when you add something to it, it really makes it pop and it really looks great on our girls. So this, you guys, is our, um, I like to just call it just our, our um, off the shoulder, um, kind of backless a little bit um, dress you know just a little puffy dress that looks super cute it's going to run a little bigger on our made to move body doll and any of our slimmer dolls but this and that belt grabs it in and accentuates the waist and looks absolutely great on our doll let me know which one of these dolls you thought rocked this outfit the best whether you liked it just regular black and white or whether you thought adding a pop of color really kind of set it off okay our next outfit okay so here is our next outfit it is a long sleeve, like a sweater type dress. And again, I'm just showing you how the outfit comes. This is our made to move new Brooklyn doll. She is has the um, athletic build body. So I wanted to show you it on her as well. She's There she is. And I paired this with a pair of sneakers because this, just to show you how you can dress this outfit down. Um, and you can leave it just like so, or you can also, pair it with something which we're going to do in a minute on our next doll and kind of bring out a little bit of that color to it in that fashion but so this is going to be your um and I, I really do like this as just a sweater dress super super cute um you can add you know a cute clutch to it or you know a um what do I have like a fanny pack to it if you wanted to make it look a little different you could add a belt to it which we'll try as well I would love to see it with a pair of heels. So we're gonna look at some of our other dolls, but um, it Velcros in the back. Um, and it is like a little pull, you know, it's a slouchy type dress, but very, very cute if Brooklyn were running to school. 
or going somewhere really cute with some friends. Okay, let's try our next doll. Okay, so now we have it on our made to move doll. And what I did was just add um, the rainbow high um, sparkle, um, you know, made it as a cross, cross her body um, statement here. And I put her on the black boots that come in this vet with this outfit. So give you a little closer up. Okay. So that's exactly how I styled her in this um, particular outfit for our made to move. I tried to do it to where I could possibly do like a one shoulder, but it just wasn't working because of the sleeves. So I said, you know what, let me just, you know, give her something across the body. Um, that kind of jazzes it up and I thought the boots were kind of cute as well. So this is how I styled this doll in this outfit. Okay, next doll. Okay. Now I went ahead and just paired this absolutely with a pair of the rainbow high thigh leg boots um, that I have been waiting to put on a doll real quick um, outside of rainbow high. So this just gave me the gravity that I needed um, in this outfit. Just want to bring these in a little closer for you. This is my integrity doll. I just did it straight black, but I want all the emphasis on the shoes. Okay, so she fits these shoes perfectly as these dolls fit the rainbow high shoes and they look absolutely amazing. And rainbow high gives me a lot of thigh high boots and things like that, so I'm always loving it. Okay, so this is this outfit on an integrity doll with some rainbow high boots. And I just didn't wanna give her anything else, but you know you can style her any, any way. Um, if I were to add a piece of something, let's see what we have in our closet up there, that would give me hard metal. I'm thinking probably you could do like a small, you know, little purse with it. Just a little something to give you that whole shadow high, rainbow high aesthetic. Tell me your thoughts. This is my rainbow high, this is my integrity doll. So let's go to our next doll. Okay, here is our um, curvy Barbie. And this is our articulated curvy Barbie. She's dressing this up with a little bit of gold. She's got her gold purse from the bedroom set, I mean from the uh, vanity set, and um, she's put on a pair of her little gold heels that she could still rock and put and get into. So um, I absolutely love this on our curvy doll. It fits perfectly. You can style it any way that you would like to, um, and I absolutely love it on the curvy doll as well. Okay, next doll. Okay, and our last doll in this outfit, I decided to put on with a little chain belt to let you know how this would look if you did a nice little wide belt on this with a pair of pink heels. I was looking for a necklace, but could not find one right off that's in this color scheme, but that's okay. I think our doll still looks amazing. Just wanna bring her in a little closer so that you can see how this looks on her. This is our fresh doll. And I just thought she'd just give you a little Barbie pink today with these cute little pink heels um, and her pink chain belt to give this dress another um, dimension and another level. So let me know which one of these dolls in this particular outfit did you like it? Did you like it with an accessory on the belt? Did you like it just by itself? Did you like it um, with a pop of color or did you prefer it more in the black? And I think this is what this set allows us to do so far is to just add pops of color. It allows us to um, change it up so many ways and I'm so excited so far because the first two outfits that we have looked at today are fitting all of our dolls in our doll bodies. And that's what I'm really looking for in a lot of this. Okay, let's go on to our next outfit. Okay, so this is our set that came as a two piece. It is um, like a pair of panties and on this doll. It doesn't go all the way up on her bottom so much. I don't wanna stretch it. So I just did as much as I could, but the top is like a, I wanna tell you guys the top is a little see-through-ish. Can you see that? The top is definitely a little see-through-ish. So um, it's, but I love it. It's absolutely cute. Um, this is on my made to move um, Kirby doll. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try these pants on with it to see how this, you know, um, comes together. Um, and we'll go there. So what we're gonna look at is how the top and bottom, you know, set. So this could be like a night set for a doll or you could change it into something else which I'm going to just take the bottoms off and put a different pair of bottoms on to show you that. Okay, I love it. I absolutely love it. Now, I had to pair her in flats because her feet are flat, but I wanted to kind of keep the same doll 
um, and let you know that the curvy um, made the move doll. So our curvy, um, I'm sorry, this is a curvy articulated doll. But so your curvy made the move doll can also wear this same outfit. It fits really good. And what I like about um, purchasing from these, um, this uh, ELE dolls is because anybody else probably would have gave us some regular silver pants that we knew our dolls were not going to be able to fit all of our dolls but they made sure they put in a nice and I'm talking about this is a good quality okay of shimmer pants so if your doll is going to the Renaissance concert you might want to put this in her arsenal to wear okay because she looks absolutely amazing this doll already came with these accessories on her hand I didn't want to do too much because she's kind of dressed down in this outfit and if she was going to go hang out with friends she absolutely could sorry I this necklace is on from a different um, outfit so I definitely wouldn't put that on her but if you want to pop color you could okay you could pop color by giving her a, um, a poncho you can give her a cute um, book bag um, even if I took this book bag over here sorry I'm stretching all in the video but even if I wanted to um, give her a quick book bag look you know see how because she's got the sneakers on and everything it absolutely you know still work with this doll okay so I love it um, and I think this is a really cool set um, for anyone to have let me know your thoughts on it this is for our curvy girl and she's dressing down this outfit let's go to our next doll okay so here we have the um, set on our made to move Barbie doll um, and this is like a custom made to move Barbie doll. So this doll, if you are looking for her, does not come articulated. I did um, make her made to move. Um, but this is how she looks in the two piece set. As you can see, I love the shirt. The shirt is, is like a little peekaboo shirt, I like to call it. But this is how she looks in the back. Very cute um, ensemble. Now let's see how she looks when we fit the pants on her. Okay, so now we are back with our made to move doll and here we have a little pop of color. So I decided since my doll has hair that is rainbow, we grab her, this is not a designer bag, shadow high doll um, clutch to go with this that has that dripping um, rainbow on it. And we also added some of the yellow shoes just as a pop of color in this as well. I thought this was a really good fit and find for our doll. Here are the shoes on her. Just a really high heel for her. Um, and it kind of brings out all the aesthetic of the shimmery um, silver pants and her little crop top, her little pink, I mean, excuse me, not pink, but black um, sheer mesh top kind of. Well, it's not mesh, but it's a little sheer top that she has on. Let me know how you like the styling of this doll, if you would have done the same or how you would have styled her differently. But this is our made to move Barbie. Okay, and here is our Integrity doll. Well, it's our Integrity doll body on our, one of our, if you remember, she is the doll from The Little Mermaid, one of the sisters. I forget her name, gosh. gosh. Um, but here she is with our Integrity doll body. And as you can see, it looks absolutely amazing on her. She fits it perfectly. Okay, so let's put her in the outfit now. Okay, and on our... Um, integrity doll the outfit absolutely fits it's a little big on the pants and the waist but it's okay um, I just paired it with a pair of the silver um, heels on with this outfit but she looks absolutely amazing in it and so it will fit your integrity dolls okay looks great and this is how it looks up close okay next doll okay so this is our last doll in a set and this is our um, fresh doll you know the fresh dolls are more I'm gonna say that athletic build too you know with curviness so if you're thinking about the first doll that I showed our new um, Brooklyn doll that has that more athletic build too for Barbie that thicker thigh um, she's gonna be you know in that same realm so I'm not gonna show her twice just want to kind of put that out there but here she is absolutely um, in the same type of um, body type so this looks great on our fresh doll she's gorgeous gonna bring her in a little closer so you can get you a look see gorgeous the fresh dolls always look so amazing i kid you not these dolls are out. and for 12.99 you know you cannot do bad and i always purchase them at target they're like 12 dollars. sometimes this one came in a set just so you know that was on sale for 14 
Um, so it was a set of three of the Fresh Dolls. So I had to grab that. Okay, let's see her in the pants. Okay, and here is our Fresh Doll who looks amazing in this outfit. I just paired her with a pair of glasses. Gave her a little hip belt because these pants sit right, sit perfect on her. Like give you a little, you know, side view here. And I felt like I wanted something on her stomach, on, on you know, on her waist you know, to kind of bring it up or to give her a pop there. Um, she came already with a pair of clear heels. So I just kept the clear heels on with her. Just want to bring her in a little closer so you can get a look. Very cute. And the fit fits wonderfully. So, so far I'm amazed. We've got three outfits so far. Um, and all of them are fitting all of our doll body types. Again, this is why I really do um, do a lot of clothing from this um from this brand, from this um, person that's selling the ELE dolls, um, because they do really do take into consideration all of your doll body types and they give you great pieces so far. Let me know what you think and what you like. Next outfit. Okay, so this is our next outfit. It is not my favorite on a curvy girl um, because it took so much. And then what I don't like is that in order to button it, you've got to bring it so high. You know, and that's not a problem because it depends on what you're wearing. But this set, I probably wouldn't put together the shirt. Um, oh, my God. I think I tussled with the shirt for like 15 minutes, you guys, because the sleeves, the arms. You know, if your doll's arms do not pop out here, as you can see, I was fighting with them sleeves to get them through. It is so tight. Um, so I definitely wouldn't put this shirt on with a curvy doll. I would find a different shirt or maybe a crop top to go with this skirt because I really do like the pleated skirt. It really is a great pleated skirt, you guys very well made um and so i just put her on with some clear heels but i'm not a fan of how tight this shirt is if your doll's arms don't come off at the bottom so it was a lot and if it's a lot i then you know i might not put them on some of my dolls right now that don't have arms that can come out or whose arms can't go through because this took me about 10 15 minutes trying to get this situated just for this one shot so enjoy but here we are with our curvy doll who can fit the fit i just am not a fan of this on her and i would use the pieces separately and find her a different top okay let's go to the next doll okay so here is our made to move barbie in this outfit and i decided to just let her go to school today guys and it looks absolutely amazing on her i put it put her with some white chucks i gave her a pair of glasses and then we threw on um, her backpack, which is a shadow high backpack for this doll. I think it looks amazing with her silver earrings um, and her glasses look great on her as well. Let me bring her in so you can get a closer look. So this is how I paired this doll in this outfit with a pair of the white chucks. So I thought this looked really cute, cool for our made to move. And I think this is how it's supposed to fit, you know, a little bit. Um, over the shirt. Uh, I think I stretched it out enough so that um, I could get her arms through. So this is a really cute outfit for our dolls. And this is on our made to move doll. Okay, here is our integrity doll. She absolutely can fit the fit. Very easy to put on because her hands can come off. Um, and I just showed it with a pair of white heels in this particular set. But everything fits great on the doll. Uh oh. Okay. So looks great on your integrity dolls as well. Okay, let's look at our last doll in this set. Okay, and this is our fresh doll and she absolutely can fit it. Um, just even the sew, you know, you have to kind of play around with the back of it because it won't close all the way at the top just to let you know because of the wider dolls, you know, it doesn't give you that fully closure how it gave you on the made to move and integrity doll, but it does fit. So. Um, she also has her own white sneakers that she came in, so I just kept those on her. But just wanted to give you a look of how the outfit looks on all of our dolls. So this is the last doll we're showing in this set. Just wanted to bring her closer so you can get you a good look. Okay, and let's go to the next outfit. Okay, we have this gorgeous shimmer dress, which probably now is my favorite in this entire set. I love this little chain purse they gave us. It's nice and heavy, um, but you got to make sure you can kind of keep it up there, you know, when you're styling it the way you want to style it. So her arm kind of holds it maybe like that. Um, I love this. I just put her on some clear shoes with this because I thought it looked absolutely amazing. 
love this dress let me bring it in closer for you do you see that shimmer on that dress you guys now it does give you a little peekaboo hole for this doll so you want to make sure that you kind of bring it up a bit or kind of hide that see how now it's gone but I think this looks absolutely amazing and this is on our regular articulated doll so you know that it absolutely will fit our um, made to move curvy doll but this is amazing I love it what are your thoughts it's so shimmery okay let's go ahead and show you the next okay here's our made to move doll and I absolutely wanted to um, try it just to see they put some black boots in there so I want to see how these black boots would look with it I'm not a fan of the black boots I think it kind of dresses it down a bit but hey somebody else may say no I put some combat boots on that bad boy and keep it moving okay so it is a very cute dress on our made to move dolls it absolutely does fit in the back and it looks great I think I mean I'm so far I'm liking it on the curvy doll a bit better because it kind of says va va boom but um I could actually say that she could be going to the renaissance concert the um, Beyonce's renaissance concert honey with this outfit because it looks absolutely shimmery and it looks amazing on her just want to bring that in a little closer so you can get a look see and see how this looks on our made to move Barbie okay next doll okay this is our integrity doll and I think she looks absolutely fabulous Colette um, I love the purse with this I actually love the silver shoes with this so um, I did pet these are the sil silver shoes that come with the set I'm gonna bring her in closer so you can get your good look see at her and I do love it with the silver shoes I think I love it with the silver shoes the best actually so it looks good on your integrity dolls as well so go ahead and grab it you gotta grab it okay and let me show you our last doll for this set okay we have our fresh doll and she looks amazing i think this color looks amazing on her i love the silver shoes on her her body looks amazing in the dress yes yes she's giving it to us so i this is probably my favorite in the set it is so glittery you guys it is so gorgeous and the material feels great um you know there's no issues with the um how it was made you know because i would definitely tell you all ele dolls does an amazing job and i love what they gave us with this oh i didn't give her her little purse did i so this is how she would look with her purse i just have to whip it around so there you go and there's your girl she looks great okay you guys we are down to our last outfit um and i'm excited let's get to it okay you guys i am mistaken this is not a coat i mm -hmm. thought it was um a jacket and it's not it is a cute little dress i did pair it with the boots i thought it was cute with the boots and this is the second to last outfit <laughs> that i'm showing you all so this is on our made to move jasmine doll of course you know i made her a made to move doll she's my jasmine um and i thought this outfit was super cute um on the made to move body I love the little houndstooth print. It's absolutely gorgeous. Let me bring her into you so you can get you a good look. But this is how the whole dress looks. Very, very cute. I thought this was a coat. It's not a coat, it's a dress. Very good material usage. Um, be careful with the arms because sometimes that makes it a little bit hard to get those dolls whose arms do not come off in. But other than that, I think this is an absolute cute look on our Jasmine doll. Next doll. Okay, so here is our Brooklyn articulated doll and I had to um, make Brooklyn like she was going to work today and put her on some sneakers with this only because she's got flat feet and she can't I didn't have any heels that were kind of flat that she could but I'm gonna find some for because you know she's my new articulated doll so um, she has remember the curvier legs and thighs and um, but I think she looks really great in this outfit and even with the sneakers to be honest with you it is still a cute outfit like I'm loving it even with the sneakers let me step put it back here so you can see that okay our next doll okay here is our integrity doll again and I love this even with the black heels guys very very cute love it love it love it she looks amazing absolutely amazing so it fits perfectly on the doll um, we put her with the black shoes that came in the set now I want you all to know except for the color shoes I have really been using and a pair of the white sneakers I have really been using the shoes that are coming with the set because I really want you to have an op opportunity to see how everything kind of goes with everything. Okay. All right. Let's look at our last doll. 
Okay, so here we have our um, curvy doll. She looks amazing in this dress. She looks amazing in the black heels that I put her in it. Um, and But also here, you gotta make sure, because it's a little tight around the waist, so you wanna, you know, not around the waist so much, but around the hips, it's gonna be a little tight. So just be careful there if you're trying to do pictures and stuff like that. Um, other than that, it looks amazing on her. Um, let me know your thoughts on this dress. Let me bring it in closer so you can get a look-see. Okay, remember that's that little hole I'm saying. You got to just kind of bring it up a little bit more. And um, it'll it close it as you bring it up. And then these are the heels that we put on her. So she looks great. I think she looks amazing. Okay, now we are on to our absolutely last doll outfit. Um, and this is our finale um, of this set. And we'll just get into the set as soon as we finish up. All right. Okay, so here is the dress or outfit it's a two-piece okay so I want you to know that this top comes up first and then it folds over I believe and then this bottom piece comes up it does come with like a little frock shawl but I'm not sure you know I guess you would like tie it here and then it came with this so I have to go back and look at the instructions and see like how this is supposed to look with this because when I tried to tie it on it didn't look good at all so I didn't want to kind of showcase that so what I did want to show you was this is our curvy um, made, to, uh, made to move doll. She has on the silver shoes with this. This is an interesting piece. Um, you know, I don't know. I think I could like the top with something else. I could do, you know, the bottom with a different top. But then again, it, it does kind of grow on you. It does look kind of good. Um, it fits good on our curvy doll. So let's see how it looks on any of the other dolls that we style this set on. Okay, so here the doll is in the fresh mm -hmm. doll, um, on our fresh doll. I think it looks good on her as well. Um, no, that's just a part of how it goes. The back of it kind of goes together that way. It's interesting. Um, she's got the silver shoes on as well. I'm going to try the clear shoes on um, our next doll, see how that kind of looks. Bringing her in a little closer. It's, it's, it's okay. It's not ugly. It's just okay. I think if this hadn't been there and this had just been like the bottom of the skirt without this, then I probably would have been like, okay, yeah, I, I really do like that. But some just ain't, you know, making me feel the best when it comes to this ruffle in the middle. Okay, let's go to our next doll. Okay, here's our Integrity doll. Looks good on her. I do like it. Um, I just added the little chain purse with it um, and gave her some clear heels that look um, really great as well on the doll. So I'm kind of kind of getting into it. I think it kind of depends on which type of doll's body that you use um, as to whether or not you're going to fall in love with it. But I think this looks good on our Integrity doll mm -hmm. as well. Okay, last doll. Okay, and last but not least, we have our Made to Move doll. And she has the clear heels on with it. Kind of, you know, looks like the same as the other doll. It's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with it. Um, yeah, it looks pretty good. So let's get into it and kind of discuss a little bit. I'm going to just bring this here for our doll to lean up against. Um, I think that this packet was absolutely amazing. We had a total of how many outfits, guys? We had the outfit that we see right now. We have a the hounds to dress. We had the shimmery dress. We had the black and white, which was our... Um, remember, we had this beautiful pleated skirt with the white shirt. Okay, so that's four so far. We had this black dress, black and white dress, right? Then we also turned around and had these pair of shiny pants. And we also had the, what I call like the sheer top and bottom, right? So I'm adding that second separately. Then we had the black dress, pullover um, jersey dress. So guys, right now, we're just looking at and, and just paying attention to what we have in front of us. One, two, three, four, five, mm -hmm. six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 pieces, right? Which gave you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven outfits, seven. Okay, then on top of that, you got a stack of money. Don't forget our money. Okay, those dollar bills, y'all. We had a stack of money. 
and we had one, two, three, four pair of shoes. And we had this gorgeous little purse that came with this outfit. All of this, you guys, was $42 from ELE Dolls. I absolutely love everything in here. I can't say even this last outfit, which isn't my favorite, but I can say that there are dolls that will look amazing on that and have so many things that I can do um, with this. Also, the pieces that we got, you guys, I haven't had a set that gave me a bra and panty piece that could actually go with, you know, a pair of pants. So I think that this outfit is absolutely amazing. Again, it is ELE Dolls on Amazon. If you look them up, they have several different types of sets that you can choose from if you want to. I'm going back today to see what else they have. Um, and everything is not 42, but the, the more that you get in the set and the higher, you know, grade of clothing that you want, you absolutely do have to pay a little bit more. But when we think about it, guys, also think about this. We just got seven sets, 11 pieces for $42. You're going to pay way more than that if you go into the store and try to find separate pieces. I just bought the um a Barbie set today that was like 6 I'm um, yesterday that was like $6. You know, when I paid for it. So one set $6 versus um 11 pieces and 7, I think I'm doing pretty good. You guys, thank you so much for this doll haul. You know I love when I do this. I love when I get a chance to show you guys some amazing dolls. Um, with some amazing clothing and I always try to show you different doll types and different body types um, so that you have an opportunity to see what you want for your doll so guys if you don't mind if you like this video don't forget don't forget to hit that like button also please subscribe if you're not a subscriber we do this all the time go back in the in my arsenal you'll see a couple of other doll um, clothing hauls and things of that sort that's my thing and then um, please leave a comment below let me know which outfit you like the best let me know who, what body type you think rocked it the best. Tell me also how you would have styled any of these outfits that we looked at today. You guys have been amazing as always. And thank you for sharing your time with me. Thanks for a great day, guys. And welcome to Brooklyn's Barbie Bay. Have a great day.